South Africa is grappling with foodborne illnesses that have claimed the lives of at least about six children in the country. In an address to the nation, Ramaphosa said that the government is treating the issue as a national security threat. The South African government is also working with the National Joint Operational and Intelligence Structure that is taking the lead in response to the crisis. The National Institute of Communicable Diseases was requested to conduct scientific tests and established that the deaths of the six children in Naledi, Soweto, can be directly attributed to a highly hazardous chemical used as a pesticide known as Terboforce. Now, the October deaths sparked calls for government's intervention. Ramaphosa highlighted the fact that the food poisoning crisis is a significant national concern. Last month, South Africa's health minister, Aaron Motsaladi, announced that the children had died from ingesting the chemical Terbuforce, which caused them severe organophosphate poisoning. Now, organophosphates are a class of chemicals usually used for agricultural purposes, medications and nerve agents. Now, the minister explained that children are more susceptible to pesticide toxicity due to the small body mass, developing organs and multiple exposure routes through ingestion, inhalation and skin contact. And our correspondent, Calvin Ongbu, has sent us this report from Johannesburg. Listen in. The tragic wave of deaths of young children that gripped South Africa due to pesticide poisoning has ignited anger against foreign nationals who run small shops known as spazas in townships. Some believe that foreigners are deliberately setting out to poison South Africans, while the foreign shop owners say this is a manufactured ploy to get the spazas and the profits back into the hands of locals. Whatever it may be, the young children have fallen victim to this horrible situation. Even though President Ramaphosa has ordered that Spaza shops directly linked to the children's death must be closed down immediately, it seems not all are satisfied with the action taken. Some say the government could have averted the situation long time back if they cared for their own. This is Kaldan Omo from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On World Is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.